Hey, Robert here. Hey, I'm in my studio and I just finished a little lunch and I thought I'd do a little bit of this live. So, believe it or not, I just started this thing earlier today. Actually, I started it yesterday, but uh, it was just basically locked in and then I just needed to <coughs> really kind of get with it today. Um, obviously, there's um, what we have here is a, there's a, I'm, I'm above on a hill and I took a photograph and this is the creek that's down below. And this is the rock wall face. It's on the other side. Uh, there's a hill and some trees and stuff back here, and there's some trees that's growing down into this here. Um, the idea on this is, is in, in much of my work, is that I try not to uh, be a direct, a deliberate, a representational painting, a painter, excuse me. And so uh, the whole the whole thing that I'm doing here is really about breaking up uh, uh, the obvious shapes, um, looking for surprises, and, and, and um, eventually try to, you know, pull it together at the end when I feel as if the harmonies are starting to, uh, starting to fit. I'm kind of liking the, this, uh, there's a deep burgundy red right in here with the oranges and the yellows that I really like. Um, not sure about the watercolor. I know that I got a warm light up here, warm sky up here, and this is probably has to be warm. I have to de determine how much warmth that I want to show on this. Do I want to darken this down so that the water shows better? You know, so that's more about the water in the sky, so it becomes more of an abstract idea than than I. And um, if I if I play with that idea just a moment, so just taking some gauklet here putting it down on. So let's play with the idea for a second of darkening the rocks in order for that the sky will show up a little bit better. Now, th by no means does any of this become a, uh, you know, the finished idea. It's just, just not the way that I do things. I, I'll work on this like this and then I'll say, well, does that work? Do I like that? If not, then I'll change it up. But, you know, so uh, but to illustrate my point here, <clears throat> I have some very um, fine kind of a You may be able to see how this slowly is taking, getting a little slightly darker using a basically a liquidy mess. But what happens when I when I do this? The determination whether or not I keep it like this is: Do I like the value contrast between all this? So basi basically, I have a Right now, I really have kind of a two-value painting, and I have to ask myself as an artist, do I want to keep it like that, or do I want to get it back to the three values that you just saw? So the one way is I can kind of speed up the idea of this, at least for the for me to evaluate it, is I will just put a little turpentine on here, and I can kind of smear. Basically, I'm staining staining the canvas. then is I just have to get back and look at that to see if uh, if, if that's something that I, I like or I don't uh, you know am I is the abstract qualities uh, enough to keep me interested in doing it like this uh, uh, who knows uh, so but uh, I mean I just 
I don't make any decisions about this, um, any permanent decisions about this as I'm working with it. I just, I just keep continue to play and evaluate, play and evaluate. So one thing I'm thinking about here is what if I expand the water a little bit here down into what is supposedly these darker bushes here. Is that something that I like doing? Ch I'm changing the composition from the original photograph, but does it help? Does it hurt? Uh, these are the types of decisions I do on all of my pieces. It's, it's, um, thing I have really learned about or learned over time is that I kind of approach these from a I would I'd almost say kind of a fearless position as far as you know I don't care if I destroy the painting in the process or not if it but you know because I will always learn something from it So the, now I'll just take that, <coughs> since this has kind of a smeary look on it, uh, I want to just break up those strokes. Never really committed to anything until, you know, I really get a real nice feel for it. I really like, like I said, I love these uh, kind of this yellow green and then, then these uh, purpley reds that are in this piece here so uh, that part I kind of like so that's one of the things that I'm favoring in this up to this point By sanding that back down, you can see that I actually lighten this value back up to what it was was originally when I first started uh, this video. So uh, <clears throat> I've seen some really wonderful art on on Facebook and on Instagram of people who are able to put the Im the impression of a painting down and they do it so much better than I do and uh, they are s so many wonderfully talented artists that if you just do some searching around on the on uh, on Instagram uh, if you go to my Instagram page or and just look at some of the artists that I follow uh, you'll see a little bit of what I'm uh, of some of these people that I'm talking about and uh, um, I, I'm in a way kind of jealous of their, their, their amazing, amazing ability and uh, they're much more intuitive about design and, and color and, 
and than, than I am. So I wind up having to work on my paintings again and again and go over them again and again and again until uh, I get something that I'm really finding something that is, you know, extremely beautiful. And uh, I work hard at this and there are so many, like I said, so many more talented people out there. But I appreciate you guys watching me as I'm trying to um, work this problem up here. Uh, so I said that I liked the burgundy, that dark purpley warm burgundy. So let me mix up a pile of it here. It's really kind of a warm deep I don't know if I was a wine small, yeah, it's a deep, warm purple. But um, anyway, so So for me, it's, it's really about just playing and, and just enjoying the process. So uh, you see, I don't, I don't care where the mark goes because it's never a final mark. Uh, I don't actually have any final marks on this thing. Everything is up to uh, uh, up for you know for destruction, and I'm I'm willing to do that to any any piece, any shape, any. In fact, this was one of my color-filled paintings before I gessoed over it. So. Absolutely willing to destroy something in order to move on from a theme or a bright blue here it's very you know cobaltish that won't be there when I'm done I'll, but it, it can be used as a part of the underpainting here Anyway, um, I'm not going to keep you. Get, get back to your, your day, your work, your paintings, your outdoor fun, whatever it is. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching.